Now, as you can see, I'm uh, sharing this field with a bunch of uh, heifers, which may get nosy and follow me, but I doubt it. Where I'm heading for, initially, is straight in front of us. This uh, area, this field, is the uh, Deverill Barrow Cemetery Complex. I've had to record a uh, voiceover because the, the wind noise is just making speech inaudible. So we've arrived up at the uh, Barrow and to be honest there's not much to see. When it was first created, before it was excavated, it was 16 and a half metres wide and over four metres tall. And because it was constructed from chalk, it would have been brilliant white. After it were excavated, it were excavated down to the original soil level and nothing were left apart from a few uh, of the original sarsen stones. In 1824, uh, uh, William Augustus Miles, at the invitation of uh, the local landowner, Mr. Plydell, excavated the Deverell Barrow Cemetery Complex, about eight barrows, I think, in total. But Deverell Barrow was by far the biggest. So they dug it down to the original Bronze Age soil level, the barrow being dated between 1700 and 1400 BC, according to the, the pottery. That's more or less just after the beaker folk died out. The pottery that were found in this barrow, at, at the barrows around, and over at Rimbury Urn Complex above Weyberth, were quite distinctive in style. Not like the beaker pottery, so archaeologists decided it were a distinctive culture in the area, you know, that they had formed in the area, um, which they named the Deverell Rimbury culture. When they excavated this uh, barrow, they took it down to the original soil level and found a, a semicircle of uh, sarsen stones, low sarsen stones, and one big sarsen in the centre, next to which were assumed were the, the primary burial uh, the person that the, the barrel would have been dug for uh, in a, a big urn, uh, urn pot. Quite a distinctive style of pottery. Uh, globular vessels with fluted or channeled decoration or scratch lines along with squat thick walled bucket urns with cotton decoration and fingerprint marks on the rims. I've included a few sort of sketches made at the time um, because Mr. Miles wrote a book about the excavation, of which I've got a copy, so I've included some of his original drawings from the excavation. Like I said, it was originally Middle Bronze Age, BC 1700, 1400. It wasn't just used for one burial, one cremation. Under each of the sarsen stones, they found another cremation, and then in the the middle of a semicircle surrounding the the, the primary uh, cremation was uh, four more urns containing cremations and also around um, were I assume some low grade uh, cremations not in urns. Now later on that uh, late Bronze Age about 1250 BC it were used again another uh, 20 cremations were, were buried there in the uh, Deverell Rimbury pots again but this time in pits dug into the barrow and covered by a, a slab of stone. There were a fair number of people uh, buried in that barrow uh, over a quite a period because they'd virtually destroyed the, the barrow uh, although it was of, of significance the local landowner, Mr. Plydell, uh, of Whatcom House at Winterbourne White Church, had a, a wall built around what was the original barrow and erected a, a slab, stone slab, with an inscription on saying what the excavation had been, what it were all about. That's since disappeared. It uh, disintegrated quite a few years ago. It's, it's split. All that's left now is, uh, as you can see, a few uh, 
random sarsens laying about and one big uh, sarsen porking up. In June 1828, the Salisbury and Winchester Journal uh, wrote an article about the uh, excavation. Um, what they wrote was, a notable antiquity of the Druids on Deverell Down, which is only a short distance from the Turnpike Road. Mr. Plydell has uh, had a wall about four to six yards in circumference built around this ancient consecrated spot, within which are 25 stones from one and a half to 2500 weight, now laid in the same plan of iconography as when the Druids Antimensium, instead of an altar, it says in brackets, of earth, was spread over this sacred spot. Here the Druids met as judges and arbiters for the public, took cognizance of murders, inheritances and boundaries, and decreed rewards and punishments. When I was walking by there first time, I actually found a Neolithic uh, axe, nothing to do with the barrow at all, but it were virtually hard against the uh, wall that had been created by Plydell, dated from what, 4000 to 3000 BC. It's uh, on the Port of Antiquities scheme, if you want to look at it, at dor dash. 019D5B. See, they're, they're all having a nosy. Nobody's coming to uh, bother me. So I'll never be worried by them. They are bollocks. <laughs> never be worried by them. Because they're not going to hurt you. They know. If you walk towards them, they'll probably run away. They know. Have you come looking? Hmm. You come yours in to see what I'm doing. I'm going back to the car now. Yeah. You <laughs> daft things. I'm not going to hurt you. You're nosy. There you are. You're nosy. I, know, I feel like Pied Piper. I do. I feel like Pied Piper when you're following me. Yeah. Am I that interesting? I don't know. Is this your uh, entertainment for today? Yeah. Watching me walking around. Mm, have you been that bored? Mm, you thought you'd play with me. What's up? Mm. What's up? Oh, you're brave. Yeah. Well, almost brave. Right, I'm going now. I'm going. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>